Daniel, fifth year, how are you today? Well, so today is Thursday, the 10th of September. We are going to check pages uh, 72, 73, and 74 from the Dictum by Zimaisa. Remember, you have to hand in composition number nine. Open your files and see your corrections. Yes? Okay, what is happening? There are many students who are not handing in compositions, please. So, from now onwards, try to hand in papers. Yes, okay, composition. In this way, you will be better. Yes, prepare yourself for the final exam. Classbook, uh, well, we are going to check page 27 from the quadernillo. We are going to go to, today we are going to work on pages 135, 26 and 27. Uh, as homework, you have 74. Uno, use of English. 75, exercise 2, from use of English. 76, vocabulary, exercises 1 and 2. Only the exercises I ask you, okay? Pages 27 and 28 from the quadernillo and composition number 10. And here you have the list of phrasal verbs from unit 12. Yes? Okay, okay we are going to have collocations too. Yes? Okay. Well, um, shall we move? Yes? How are you today? I hope you are fine, happy, yes, okay, try to be happy, yes, okay, well, so uh, let's go, let's go, let's go, first of all, we're going to check page from the quadernillo, page 27, that was a very easy one, complete the text, there were two extra words, okay, number two, two, three, could, four, because, five, if, Six, have been able to find, have, era la palabra. Seven, managed. No, I'm sure you could come. So make sure you manage, queríamos manage? Yes, but manage to come. Make sure you... Uh, Wait a minute, I'm checking. Okay, so make sure you manage, well, manage to come. Make sure you uh, could come. Yes, okay, come, can. By the way, could you, yes, come. There you have to put can. And in the other one is could. Yes, that was the... Yes, okay. Make sure you can come. I was checking if the... Um, because you have to could. Yes, okay. By the way, could you take... By the way, could you tell Sarah that? Blah, blah, blah. And then nine able. I repeat again. Two. Two. Three could. Four because. Five if. Six have. Seven can. And eight could. Uh, nine able. Yes, that is sol from the quadernillo. Yes, let's go to the activity book. Yeah, the exam by Simonson. Yes, okay, good. Well, so we have page 72. Seventy seventy-two. 72, there we are. Okay, so the reading, 1C. 2B, 3D, 4A. Exercise 2. 1A, 2D, 3B, 4A, 5A, 6C, 7B, 8D. 9C, 10D. Exercise 3. Convinced. Very sure. I want you to highlight the words there. Yes, okay. Highlight the words. From uh, exercise three. Yes, okay. 2E, knowledgeable. Yes, okay, know a lot of facts. 3F, such, see match point in. Understand the value of. 4A, dedicated, keen and enthusiastic. 5C, pick up, win. 6D, drop out, leave university early. You drop up, 
drop out university. Yes? Okay, you drop out. Well, so let's go to the grammar. Yes, page 74. All right, exercises one and two. One and two. If no one had invented the mobile phone, we wouldn't have been able to send text messages. Remember, if plus past perfect, that would have the third column. Two, I would have gone to the science museum with you if I had known where you were going. Well, you, if I had known you were going. Ok, acordate, el if siempre pegadito en este condicional al pasado perfecto. Este en esta parte o en esta parte. Yes, ok, adelante o atrás. Four, I, eh, three, I wish I had come up with an invention that had changed the world. I'd be famous now. Yes, ok. I wish I had studied for that exam. That I didn't pass it. Yes, ok. So, I wish I... Past perfect, estamos haciendo un deseo para el pasado. I wish I could be with you now, un deseo para el presente. I wish I, pasado, deseo para el presente. I wish I, past perfect, deseo para el pasado. Four, if my parents hadn't bought me a telescope, I wouldn't have become so interested in the stars. If my friend, Gary, hadn't explained that experiment to me, I wouldn't have got a good mark in my physics homework. I bet Tony wishes, she wishes, she had gone to that party. Acordate que a ese wish le vas a agregar la S del present, del present simple. Ella desea haber ido. Yes? Okay. Uh, what am I? I bet Tony wishes she had gone to the talk Professor Brian Cox was there. Seven, if they hadn't invented the wheel, we wouldn't have developed motor vehicles. I wish I had not dropped out to university. I would have a degree now. Yes, okay. Well, so we have Jenny, number one, would have done. Two, the text, hadn't invented, had got. Four, had come up with. Five, would have had. Tiffany, six, had bought, seven, had chosen, eight, would have missed. Is it clear? So, bye-bye activity book. And let's go to the book. Yes, okay. Put the page, please, on pages 125, 126, and 127. Okay, good. Well, there we are. Okay, so do you have, um, are you interested in science? Uh, do you watch TV? Do you watch any science program on TV? Uh, yes, if yes, why? If not, why not? Yes, okay? So, uh, would you like to watch this program, the one that is in the TV guide, that you are going to read this, yes, and call, and you are going to say at home, if you would like to see this um TV, uh, this program, Science for Today, yes, okay, uh, think about that and tell, yes, okay, if you are interested. I want you to, uh, these are the phrasal verbs there, okay, come across, fine, run out of, no have, yes, I run out of money, I haven't got anything, yes, okay, fall through, fail, go on about, complain, look into, Examinar, come up, appear, yes, give away, tell a secret, yes. Will you give away what I told you? Yes, okay. Uh, keep up with, stay at the same level, keep up with the Kardashians, okay. Good, well, okay, so I want you to highlight all of them. Remember the technique of the post-its, yes, okay. Highlight all the verbs in the text, yes? And we are going to do exercises three, four, and five from this page. Three, four, and five. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Good. So there we are. 
Okay. Um, I watch um series about uh science. Yes. Okay. Or um, but not programs. Yes, I have to be uh, with science. Yes, but series, yes. But sometimes uh, I watch the Discovery uh, Channel and if I am interested in that science specifically, yes, in, in the invention of something that I want to know, I continue watching the video, yes, or the, the, the program. Yes, okay, what about you? Well, so exercise uh, three. One, H, yes, come across fine, yes, okay, is it clear? Yesterday, I came across with a lot of magazines that I had, yes, in my uh, cupboard, okay, 2D, I want you to write all the examples in your cuaderno de la A la Z, please, 2D, round out tough, yes, 2D, not have enough. Yes, I round out. Do you think? Um, ah, I want to. I want to tell you something. I think we are going to round out of milk soon, so we have to make the list for the supermarket. Yes. Okay. Run out of something. Yes. Money. Milk. Yes. Okay. Three e. Fall through. Fail. Yes. Fall through. Fail. Yes, I think uh, my plans have fall, um, fallen through. Yes, okay. I think they are, not, they are not very practical nowadays. Yes, okay. 4C. Go on about. Complain. Yes, okay. Is it clear? And you have experts have been going on about this. Okay. I think uh, policemen are going on about uh, their salary. Yes, okay. 5C, look into. Yes, sorry, 5C, 5B, examine. Yes, ya sabemos esto. Come up. Yes, 6G, appear. Yes. Um, I think uh, this the news about uh, policemen complaining, yes, in front of the uh, pink house will come up tomorrow, yes, okay, or will come up soon. 7A, give away, yes, well, I told you, I have already told you about the secret, yes, okay. Will you give away what I have told you? Have you given away what I have told you? It was a secret, yes, okay, 8F, keep up with, Stay at the same level. Yes, okay, good. So now uh, you're going to complete exercise four. One, what interesting information has come up so far in this lesson? Fallen through. What plans have you made recently that have fallen th through and you couldn't do? Yes, I think the idea of going to... Um, going camping have fallen through yes okay good yes you have fallen through there fail yes okay um come across exercise three four keep up with i think you will have to keep up with all the compositions yes okay we are advancing yes but I think you will have to keep up with the homework. Yes, okay. Do you ever find it difficult to keep up with all the homework? Why, why not? Yes, run out of. Yes, run out of time, run out of money. Look into. Yes, okay. Would you like to look into in more detail? Yes, look into. Examine. Yes, examinar. Examine. Okay, so let's go to. Uh, use of English, you are going to complete the second sentence so that it has the same meaning as the, pre, uh, the first sentence. But remember, you have to use between two and five words, including the word given. You have wish, entonces si te sale wish, tenés que prestar atención 
a esta estructura. A ver, si te piden un widget en present o en the past. Yes, across. Recién vimos un phrase adverb, come across, por ejemplo. Faint. Yes, okay. Used. Can be, I am used to eating. I am used to, or I got used to. So you have be used to, get used to, used to, solía. Entonces te vas a concentrar en esas tres gramas para ver qué es lo que te pide esa frase. Yes, they and should. Yes, okay. Well, now is the time that you post the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Is it clear? Right. So, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wish, yes, I wish I have saved my files. You have a wish in the past. Two, we didn't expect, y ahí viene el verbo, to come across. Ahora, si vos no te sabes el verbo, ese phrase, ver, porque no lo tenés estudiado, no lo vas a registrar. Yes? Three, if he had not failed, y ahí tenemos, ¿qué cosa? Un condicional número tres. Yes, ok, he would have gone to medical school. Four, will have used, yes, ok, by the mid 21st century, yes, we will have used, yes, all the oil, bla, bla, bla. Yes, we'll have, we'll have used, tenemos un futuro perfecto. Yes, ok, five, are the most, y ahí tenemos un superlativo, eh, should have told. Yes, ok, tenemos un verbo modal en pasado. You should have told me the truth. Yes, ok. Is it clear? So let's go to page 127. So it says, read the comments from high school students about studying science. Then we're going to go to the listening. We're going to do activities two and three. And then uh, it says, would you like to go to the Big Bang Fair? Uh, what would you like to find out more about there and why? Yes, okay. Is it clear? Right. So it says, I'm not so interested in science. Yes. I, I think it's totally boring. You have to learn all these different formulas for things. And I just can't understand why things work and don't work. And it is, is it important anyway? I want to study art, so I don't need to do science. This is what adolescents always say, yes, or the majority. Yes, okay? Uh, no, I don't want to know about history because I will study maths in the future. Yes, okay? No, I don't want to know about literature because I will be an architect. And you don't know uh, that, well, you don't concentrate on this, yes? All the... Um, All the things, yes, all the um, subjects are important, yes, because you have to build, yes, you have to build knowledge, yes, you have to know a bit of everything. And of course, you will like more, uh, one subject more than the other. This is logical, yes, but I think this is the first uh, impression, uh, the first opinion that all or the majority of uh, students have, yes. No, I don't want to know this because... I don't care, I will be an architect. Yes, and all things, yes, matter. Yes, okay? So, double science on Monday morning is the worst thing in the world. Yes, and number two, I will enjoy finding out how things work and doing experiments in the laboratory. It's important to understand about the world. I agree with this one. Yes, it's important to understand about the world, the thing, the things. Yes, how they work. Yes, how they were created where they come from, where you come from, yes, okay? Because we can make, uh, understand about the world around us because they, then we can make life better in the future, yes? We have to understand the present for making the future a better place, for, for making the, the world a better place in the, in the future, yes? My science teacher is a very enthusiastic person and that makes us enthusiastic too. So I'd love to be an engineer, yeah? So these are different opinions, and you have to say at home which, which opinion do you agree and which, which, which one you don't agree, yeah? So let's go to the listening, yes? And with this listening, we are going to do exercises uh, two and three, yes? Try to do it, play it again, and then 
You have to stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Is it clear? So let's go. So Tina, just why is the Big Bang Fair so popular? This science fair is an amazing opportunity for young people to see how exciting science and engineering can really be. A lot of young people think of scientists as boring people in white coats, or they think that engineers spend their time repairing water pipes or underneath cars. Mm. The Big Bang Fair has loads of demonstrations, films and ex- Well, with this first part, I would like to go to, I am answering uh, question number four. I would like to go there because there are a lot of demonstrations. Uh, you don't get bored. bored. Um, uh, if you thought that scientists were a bored person, yes, okay. Well, this is not true. Uh, science is not boring. You can uh, see demonstrations, you can participate. So I would like to be there and I think there must be more fairs like this for students so they don't think science is boring, yes? Exhibitions to show what scientists and engineers can really do. So it's all about watching experiments and seeing how scientists do things. That's part of it. There are some fantastic demonstrations and talks but it's not all about watching and listening. It's about taking part too. When people experience things for themselves, they learn a lot more. For example, do you agree with this? When you, student, experiment from yourself, you learn more. And I agree with this, yes? If you do it, you will learn it. You will, uh, you will remember for all your life, yes, okay? But if you see it you know, in a book, and well, it will be there on, in the book. Yes, is it clear? So, in this pair, you can uh, see the demonstrations, you can do experiments, you can make films, yes, and also teachers can find out, yes, how they can make their classes more interesting. Yes, is it clear? Um, well, continue. Well, there's a stand which tells kids about animated films, and then they can actually create a short animated film themselves. Mm, so it's not all about chemistry and physics? Not at all. Although those subjects are obviously at the heart of many science projects, it's more about how science is behind everything we use and do in the real world. There are even demonstrations about the design of scary... How things work, yes? Because, okay, yes, we have a marker, but who invented this marker? That was a genius, a genius, yes, okay? So we have a computer, but what's behind the computer? Yes, how does it work? Yes, sometimes when we are um, young, we don't care about it. Yes, we say, no, I don't understand this. And I think our mind is flying, yes? So that's why when you are an adult, yes, um, because I am teaching my daughter some certain um, subjects from school, and and the other say, the other day I explained her about unitarios and federales, yes, and it was great. But I remember when I went to school and I said I couldn't understand who were the unitarios, who were who the, the federales were, and what did they want, and it is it is so easy. Yes, that nowadays I can explain my daughter, but at that, at that time, when I was young, I was flying, I was thinking about playing with my dolls, playing with my teacups, yes, so sometimes it's not because you don't want to learn, but it's because it's the time, yes, of our lives, yes, and we are flying, yes, okay, but it's, this is very interesting, very interesting. He rides in theme parks. I think it's great how the fair takes science out of the laboratory. I learned a huge amount. I imagine it's useful for teachers and parents too. Absolutely. There are lots of ideas for teachers on how to bring science lessons right up to date and make their teaching relevant for students. Because uh, I think um, lessons must be up to date. Yes? Okay, I was teaching since 1999, I will teach you the same. No, you have to uh, uh, make your lessons up to date. Because if students get bored, you will get bored as a teacher. I think that, for example.
Unit 12. Top young people are the scientists of tomorrow, and we need more of them to make the world safer and a better place to live. Yeah. They need to be inspired by good teachers and encouraged by parents. Mm. So, we as teachers must inspire you. Yeah? We as parents must encourage you. Yes? Is it clear? To go, to study, to continue learning. Yes, because you are the future. You are the future. Yes, and you can make our world a better place. Yes, okay. That is a big responsibility for you. Yes, but uh, we have a big responsibility. I am a teacher, so as a teacher, I must inspire you. Yes, and as a mother of two daughters, uh, I must encourage them to continue studying, uh, don't give up, yes, so it's a big responsibility. Mm. I was interested in the winners of the prizes that they give at the fair. They're only young, but they invented some quite remarkable things. You're right. Every year, students can enter a competition to become Young Scientist or Young Engineer of the Year. The winner of Young Engineer was a student who had invented this incredible search and rescue robot. Mm -hmm. It's a small robot that can be used after earthquakes to look for people who are trapped in buildings that have collapsed. Oh, yeah. He wanted to invent something small enough to go into places where normal rescuers couldn't, or where it was too dangerous for people to go. Cost was important because usually these types of machines are very expensive, especially for poorer countries. Mm. And wasn't there another finalist, a boy who invented something to do with drums? Anzi Mishra. He's an example of how you can combine a hobby with science. He's been a keen scientist and a passionate drummer for eight years. And last year he designed a set of drums that lit up when they were played. This created a fantastic visual effect for people watching. This year, he made a pair of trousers that produced the sounds of drums and cymbals when you tapped them. <laughs> it sounds crazy, doesn't it? But I saw him play. He sits on a chair and uses his hands to tap his right leg. The different places he taps produce different drum sounds, just like in a band. Wow. I imagine these kids will go on to have good careers in science. Yes. The winners have already been given places at universities and given sponsorship money too. Okay, that's great. So if you are, uh, if you go to this um, fair, you can also, if you are a little, a, a young scientist, yes, you can participate because there is a contest. And if you win the consent, contest, yes, you have opportunities, good, very good opportunities because you have a place at university, you have a sponsor for your invention, and that is great, yes? But that's another important point about this fair. It's not only about watching or even taking part in experiments. It's about finding out about courses and careers in science. There are also representatives from different companies who can talk to the kids about job opportunities, including science reporters on television and radio. <laughs> You'd better watch your job then, Tina. <laughs> okay, so apart from all the things that I have described, all the things that you have listened in this um, uh, recording, yes, you are, if you go to this fair, you will be uh, advised on the things, on the careers, on the different uh, um, jobs you can have if you choose this career or that career, any career as regards science, okay? So that is a very interesting fair, a very good opportunity for students not only for students, but also for teachers, yes? To encourage their students, to motivate their students, to, um, uh, let's say, um, motivate, and I say the, the word previously because we were talking, yes, inspire their students, because we, as teachers, yes, must inspire our students. So this is the key. Yes, that makes a teacher a good teacher. A teacher that inspires, for me, is a good teacher. Yes, okay. Well, so, uh, let's go. Now is the time that you post the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Well, um, blam, 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 blam.
So, uh, number two, when well, you go there, because uh, you make a film teacher, you, you make a film, animations and everything, you can see demonstrations, participate, do experiments, listen to scientists, uh, listen to uh, advice about what careers uh, you can choose, yeah, job opportunities. Um, it's not only for teachers, but also for students. Yes, okay, you will find out what career, about different careers, and if you uh, participate, if you are a young scientist, you can participate uh, in this contents, in a kind of contents. And if you are the winner, you will uh, win um, a place at university and you will have a sponsor, yes, for your invention. And that is great. Number, great, number three. 1C, 2B, 3A, 4B. 5A, 6A, 7B, okay? So that's all from here. What do you think makes, we have already talked, I have already said before, what makes a good teacher, but what makes a good uh, scientist? Yes, okay, their capacity for me, their capacity to, um, um, no, 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 the strengths they have, yes? I think a good inventor must, must be strong. Uh, um, don't give up, yes? Because you have to think about an idea, work on, on that idea, uh, see the results, yes? Write again and see the process and you have to be patient. So patience, yes? Be strong, strength, yes, okay, uh, never give up, yes, okay, and um, well, these are more or less the things a good mentor must have, of course, intelligence, yes, okay, but the capacity of never giving up, yes, okay, because they have to taste, then it's not working, and then they have to try again and again, yes, okay, uh, sometimes it must be frustrating, Yes, okay, good. So I will show you uh, a photo of my favorite uh, scientist, the one I chose, because at the end of this, in exercise seven, we are going to do exercise uh, two, um, four, yes, five, and seven. Exercises two, well, one is talking, Two, four, five, and seven. Yes, and in seven you have to look at uh, what well, you have to choose. Who, whose job do you think is the most important? Uh, meteorology, chemistry, biology, physics, ecology, mathematics, and then you have to choose. You have to talk about a famous uh, or famous uh, scientist from Argentina, and I have chosen one. And then I will tell you why I chose uh, this person, okay? Wait a minute, I'm going to prepare it. Do the activities, okay? Do exercise two and four and five, okay? While I am, um, you know, shaking the, preparing the, the projection. Is it clear? Right, it's clear. Okay. Right. So, uh, number two. Yes, and you have to say, of course, at home, what makes a good inventor. Yes, okay. There we are. Good, good, good. About to finish. Yes, okay. Number two, um, engineering. Three. Yes, okay. Experience. Process. Idea. Do. Develop. Conduct. Results and keep. Exercise four. Pay attention here. Make. 
So you make a discovery. And this is um, collocations. These are collocations, and I want you to write them on your libro de la A la Z. Yes, the one I told you. Yes, okay, to make. Okay, so you make an, a discovery. So you analyze the results. You reach to a conclusion. You reach a conclusion. You take um, several x-ray. Yes? You do, I hate doing experiments, so you do, you don't say make experiments, you say do experiments. So these are co-collocations, where they go together. Yes, okay? Um, develop, specific words. Yes, okay? Develop a vaccine. Yes, okay? Is it clear? So make a discovery, analyze results, reach a conclusion, take x-rays, do experiments and develop a vaccine. Do you think there will be uh, a vaccine developed soon? Yes, because we need yes, uh, a vaccine now, yes, because we can't continue living like this. Yes, okay? Well, so let's go to exercise five. That is uh, world building. Yes, okay. Mathematic, ¿cómo sería un matemático? Mathematician, mathematical, yes, okay. Sacamos las palabras, la familia de palabras de cada una, eh. Ecologist, ecologist, ecological. Physic, physical. Biologist, biological. Biological, yes. Biological. Biologist, biological, yes, okay. Chemist, chemical, yes. Meteorologist, meteorologist, meteorological, yes, okay. So um, let's listen. I think we have the recording here. Wait a minute. Unit 12. Vocabulary focus. Activity 6. Let's Example. Archaeology. Archaeology. Archaeologist. Archaeologist. Archaeological. Archaeological. 1. Mathematics. Mathematics. Let's repeat. Mathematician. Mathematician. Mathematical. Mathematical. 2. Ecology. Ecology. Ecologist. Ecologist. Ecological. Ecological. Three. Physics. Physics. Physicist. Physicist. Physical. Yes. Four. Physicist. Biology. Biology. Biologist. Biologist. Biological. Biological. Chemist. Five. Chemistry. Chemist. Chemical. Six. Meteorology. Meteorology. Meteorologist. Meteorologist. Meteorological. Meteorological. Yes. Okay. Well, so to say goodbye, what you have to do? Composition number 10, pages 27 and 28 from the quadernillo. Uh, exam maximizer, only the pages there, only the ones in brackets. Okay? Is it clear? And we have composition number 10 from the list. Composition number 10, hello, composition number 10, come to me. Okay, it says, letter of complaint, you stay at a holiday resort recommended by your travel agent and you have to use, however, uh, pardon, however you did not enjoy your stay due to, a num due to a number of difficulties, yes, okay, you have the mass words there. Describe, uh, write a letter of complaint describing them and asking for an action to be taken. Yes, okay. Although, however, disappointed, okay. Is it clear? So you have to describe in this letter of complaint what happened, yes, at this resort, yes. What about the facilities? Did you have any problems with the facilities? Okay. Uh, would you recommend it? No. Would you recommend it or not? No. Uh, and I want you to say, to ask at the end of the letter, yes, what actions to be taken. Yes, if you need uh, a refund of your money, 
uh, if you want two extra more weeks there, yes, in that resort, yes, okay? Is it clear? Remember, a letter of complaint, yes, introduction, body, and ending, yes, respect the language too, okay? Um, this is my favorite uh, scientist. I think you all know him, yes, okay? And I will tell you why. You have to choose a scientist from Argentina and you have to say why you like this person. Yes? Okay? And this is the one I like. And I will tell you why I like him. Okay? So, uh... You know him, he's uh, René Favaloro. He was a very, a very, um, a very intelligent and famous cardiologist. He made uh, many discoveries as regards uh, the heart. Yes, okay, and everything that has to be with heart. Yes, okay. Uh, he was uh, very concerned, very concerned about uh, our country about uh, health, but he couldn't stand corruption, so uh, he committed suicide, yes, uh, and he shot himself in his heart, yes. So um, I really like him because I think he was a person that inspired other people, yes, and I think we need more René Favaloros, yes, in our country, because we need people who uh, motivate other professionals. We need uh, people who are conscious about uh, not being corrupt, yes, okay? Um, well, he wanted to um, heal uh, the world, or at least his country, from corruption, but he couldn't. Yes, so I think it was a very sad story because at the end he committed suicide. He um, left a letter, yes, a very sad letter to uh, the president at that moment was De La Rua. Yes, Fernando De La Rua. And I really like René Favaloro because I think we need more people like him in our world. Not only in our country, but in our world. People who inspire other people, who motivate, yes people to be better, yes, not uh, to steal money from others, yes, and he worked for all the people, not only for rich people, but also for poor people, yes, so he wanted a better world, yes, but he couldn't stand, yes, okay, that situation, so, uh, well, you know the end, so I chose uh, this scientist from Argentina, because I think he uh, really inspired, yes, uh, people. He has really inspired people, yes, and we need more people like this, okay? So, happy weekend. See you next class. Bye-bye. Have a nice weekend.